Hello everyone, and welcome to this video. This is Linux Fan 2011, and today I am going to be showing you how to install Fedora 16. Now, Fedora is sponsored by the Fedora Project, which is an excellent and very large community which helps uh, contribute and build the Fedora operating system, which is one of the things I like most about Fedora. Now, right now, I'm at the Fedora 16 desktop. I am in the live uh, CD environment. And so to start the installation, you're going to want to start up Anac Anaconda, which is the installation um, utility that will install it on the hard drive. So to find it, you need to go to, I believe it's System Tools, and click Install the Hard Drive. Now since I'm running this in a virtual machine, it will take uh, quite a while to load up because Anaconda is quite uh, resource hungry. So I will be right back when it starts up. Okay. Anaconda has started up, and it does not say Anaconda top, it's called the Fedora installer. And we're at the, uh, the language screen. So I live in the United States, I'm going to select English, and you can select the language that is pertinent to your uh, area. And <clears throat> we're going to want to select basic storage devices, because that's mainly what everybody else is going to be using. I don't use a SCSI, I don't use the storage area network and I'm not installing to enterprise devices so I'm just going to select basic storage devices and hit next and now it will examine the hard drives and other storage devices I have on my machine and click yes to discard any data now my uh, hard drive I'm installing this on is uh, a blank hard disk, um, and it's a virtual box hard disk, so there's no data on it, so I don't have to worry about uh, re losing any data. So the host name is just basically the name of the computer that will identify it on your network, and for my host name, I'm just going to hit Fedora. Hit enter. Okay, select the nearest time zone. I am in the eastern time zone, so I'll select that. And keep this system defaults, okay. And select your root password. This can be whatever you want. Just make sure that you can remember it. Okay, for me, since it's a blank hard disk, I'm just going to select Use All Space. And I'm going to select Review and Modify Partitioning Layout so I can check it and double check it at the end. Hit Next. Okay. And this is the partitioning layout that Fedora has selected. And it looks fine to me. I got, I really don't need a, I really don't need a 2,000, uh, a two megabyte, a two gigabyte, excuse me, swap partition, but I'm just gonna leave it as a default. And that's the root partition. All right, boot, iOS, and physical volume. All right, that all looks good, so I'll hit next. and it is now creating the file systems and partitions on the hard drive. Now this could take a while depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of the hard drive that you're installing it on. So I want to go ahead and pause it and I'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so now we are at the last major section of installation and it's going to copy the live image to the hard drive so when we reboot it will finish up the installation. So I'll be back when this is finished. Okay, I'm back, and Fedora has uh, completed installation. So I'll reboot the computer now, and we'll come back to the next screen. All right, and I've allowed Fedora to reboot, and we are now at the welcome screen. It says right here, there are a few more steps to take before your system is ready to use. The setup agent will now guide you through some basic configuration. Please click the forward button in the lower right corner to continue. And you got a nice big Fedora logo and the word Fedora on there. How pretty. So I'm going to click forward. Gives you the license information. If you want to read it, that's fine. But it's basically just telling you that you that it's an open it's open source and that you can re you can alter the code and add to the code if you want, but there are certain restrictions that you must abide by um, if you do um, alter the code. So I already know all this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click forward. Okay, synchronize the time and date. 
time looks fine. Uh, synchronized time and date over network, which I like to do anyhow. Select a NTP server, click forward. And I'll start the NTP service, so I'll have to wait. Okay, and my full name, Joshua, username, yep. Password, password again. And I don't, I don't ever use any of these, so I'll just skip that. Click forward. And it basically tells the the hardware on my computer. Um, it sends a hardware profile to, to the Fedora project so they can see uh, what systems their software is being run on, installed on, and it basically kind of gives you them a broad overview of what machines are compatible with their operating system. And I'll go ahead and send it. I like to send the information to them, help them out. And there you go. Go ahead and log in. And just to let you know, too, if you haven't noticed, this is using the fallback uh, GNOME 3 interface. Since obviously I'm running the virtual machine, obviously it won't run the, the new GNOME 3 interface, which is, by the way, pretty. I like that. So. Aw, uh, GNOME 3 failed to load. Oh, I already knew that, so I'll quick close. And there you go. Fedora 16 is now installed. Alright. It has successfully installed, and oh, by the way, I did install a 64-bit version. But if you do want to install the 32-bit version, you can select that when you go to download the ISO file from the Fedora project website which is www.fedoraproject.org and I'll include a link in the in the notes at the bottom of the video. And I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please like it and please subscribe if you wish. And I hope you have a great day guys. Thank you very much. Bye.